you have this fascinating and hilarious story, BB gun story, and I was hoping you could share it with all of us, and also the connection of how that really helped start this lifelong bond between both of you. Right, so those of you who are sitting in the front, or if you've met Deepak before, will uh, realize and appreciate that he has a dimple in his chin. <laughs> I call it the Kirk Douglas chin. <laughs> and uh, with great pride, I want to tell you that I'm responsible. <laughs> so I was about nine years of age, and Deepak was 11. I was a very good shot with bow and arrow, with catapult, and then one of our uncles gave uh, Deepak a gift of a BB gun as his birthday present. So I went outside to the front yard. There was a five foot pole. I took a can of cherry blossom shoe polish, put it up there and I was knocking it, going, putting it back, knocking it. And Deepak comes and stands next to me and he says, go ahead, shoot. I said, what are you saying? I mean, I have a gun. He says, you never miss. Remember the story of William Tell? <laughs> and go ahead, I'm your elder brother. I'm, I'm telling you to shoot. So I was a little tremulous. I shot, it missed the can, and it hit him in the chin. <laughs> so he says, you know what? Now, we got to go home. Mom is there, and our grandmother was there, staying with us. And he says, I'm going to say that I tripped. There was a piece of barbed wire on the ground, and it nicked me. So I said, Deepak. That's a lie. He said, listen, mommy has been telling us the story of Ramayana, an ancient epic uh, spiritual text. And in it, there's Rama, the God, the incarnation of God, and his younger brother, Lakshman. And I am Rama, and you're Lakshman. <laughs> so you have to listen to everything I say. Bob Dwyer. So we go home, he's bleeding, and my mother comes out, she cleans, she says, what happened? So I say, trip, there's a piece of barbed wire. <laughs> and dead all, band-aid. Um, that night, our father returns, he would come home often at 9 o'clock at night, seeing patients in the hospital teaching, and we'd wait for him for dinner. So we're all sitting for dinner, and he says, what happened to Deepak? And I said, he tripped on a barbed wire. And two days later, there's a lump here. <laughs> and my grandmother admonishes our father, says, you know, you're this brilliant diagnostician and doctor. People come from all over India to Jabalpur, Central India, to see you. And you have not made the diagnosis in your own son. There's probably a piece of rusty barbed wire stuck in there. So go get him an x-ray. And it's our summer holidays, so off he goes in the morning for an x-ray. And I'm pacing the veranda. <laughs> and every two minutes I go and say, Mom, did they call from the hospital? She said, you know, you're unduly worried about this. <laughs> Just as she said that, the phone rang. And my father was on the phone. He said, guess what we found? We found a little pellet rod from there. <laughs> I called the surgeon. He's going to extract it. So that's why he's got that little temple. 